Controversy is growing tonight over CCW permits. Those are licenses that allowed people to carry concealed weapons. There are now allegations that LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva is showing favoritism over who gets those permits. Phil Schumann is live at the sheriff's headquarters in downtown LA. Phil. Well, the sheriff has been quite vocal in the support of issuing more CCWs as crime has increased. Uh, it was very difficult to, to get one before the Supreme Court relaxed the rules earlier this year. And now the allegation, as you mentioned, Christine and Alex, is that Villanueva showed favoritism, particularly to people who donated to his campaign. We have a CCW unit, and they do due diligence. They follow state law to the T. L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva in an online debate last month with rival Robert Luna talking about the process of his department granting permits for CCWs carrying concealed weapons. We had to adjust because of the Supreme Court decision. Now we have even more applications. More applications because the Supreme Court essentially said you no longer need to provide any reason when you're applying. As for allegations raised in today's LA Times front page article that dozens of Villanueva donors got CCW permits before the Supreme Court's ruling, the sheriff sarcastically said on the department's Facebook page, congratulations to the Los Angeles Times for acknowledging the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is complying with the law. Thank you for highlighting the fact less than 1% of the 3,400 campaign contributors were granted CCWs after passing a rigorous background check, firearms training, and application process. The total that we've issued is 3,145, and we have another 1,364 pending, so our output is increasing. Vina Weva makes no apologies for the sharp increase in CCWs his department issued, often updating the numbers for the public in his regular social media posts. We absolutely have to ask the tough questions. As for the LA Times article alleging favoritism in awarding those CCWs before the Supreme Court changed the rules, Villanueva's opponent, Robert Luna, says it absolutely must be looked into. Yes, integrity is the cornerstone of law enforcement. And as I've been on my campaign, uh, I consistently talk about integrity, accountability, and collaboration. Uh, and it's my opinion that Alex Villanueva has gotten an F in all three categories. Of course, Alex Villanueva would strongly disagree with that, although he declined our request to appear on camera to discuss this latest controversy, an emphasis on latest, Alex and Christine. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to hear a lot more from uh, Villanueva's rival, Robert Luna, reacting to this controversial story. Live yeah. downtown, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. And if you look up the Sherman Oaks Homeowners Association debate on YouTube, Phil did a great job moderating that. You can hear from them for about an hour. Phil, what is Luna's take, though, on concealed carry? He talked about that with you, what he would do if he was sheriff. He did. Um, he it also supports the concealed carry weapons permit process, especially now since the Supreme Court uh, basically said you don't need to provide a valid security or fear of crime type reason. But he also wanted to stress, as Sheriff Inouye did, that it also requires background checks, training, education, and so forth. He's not nearly as liberal with the concept as the sheriff, but he does recognize that people have the right to get one. All right, Phil. Thank you. And of course.